Hi guys, this is John Pondery Moments. Just wanted to give a quick update. It's been a been a been a hot minute since I've been over here uh, making videos. Haven't had a lot of time. Uh, been fairly busy in life. Still, still looking to do this. Still trying trying to make content. I've been doing a lot of research on um, some uh, content for the future of the channel. Essentially, what I'm going to be doing is doing deep dives into certain topics that are of interest to me. Um, takes a lot of research. I've been, I've been kind of working on on two of them in particular. Um, one of them is going to be called the the cost of safety, and by that I don't just mean uh, the financial cost. I also mean um, how we sacrifice our freedoms for the illusion of safety, um, just based on what the government tells us. So, uh, I mean, recent history, you know, 2020, 2021, 2022, all these forced vaccinations, uh, people were losing their jobs because they were considered unsafe if they didn't have the vaccine, having to wear masks everywhere, um, you know, getting all those bacterial lung infections as a result of constantly breathing in and out that moist air like that. Um, it's not healthy. It never was healthy. It's not for your safety. It's it's all for um, a it's all for political agenda, it, and ultimately it leads into control. Um, another one that I've been working on is the harm of pornography, and I don't just mean the use of porn. I also mean those who are in the porn industry, um, the the models models are not always willing participants and most of the ones who say they're willing are only willing in so much that they have false pretenses of what what this is going to do for their life like most of them don't understand or don't believe the long-term implica implications of working in the industry of how harmful it can be and how devaluing it is it doesn't matter if you're a good person. You've been doing this kind of that kind of work for so long. People aren't. Th there's always exceptions, so I'm not talking about the exceptions. But people, in general, are not going to be interested in trying to engage in a relationship with somebody who has experienced that, um, it, especially for a female, but even a male. Like it, it, it's it's it's. It's a disgusting business, um, and more to that, a lot of the people are not are not willingly participating. If you look at some of uh, Arden Young's uh, work that she's been doing um, with undercover reporting on Pornhub, I mean, this is this is not this is not a good a good business. I mean, there's thousands and thousands of lawsuits against Pornhub right now for um, no age verification, for refusing to take down content that, that they've been made aware of is uh, was created when the subjects were underage or in duress. Um, it, it, it's not okay. None of that's okay. And just for the average consumer, pornography can be very dead uh, damaging. Essentially, it creates... Well, it, I'll get into it in the future, um, but that that that's uh, a big topic, and it might actually be broken into two or even three videos. Um, along those lines is um, OnlyFans and my opinions of that content and how I think that is also equally damaging. It's a gateway into pornography. Um, it's just reinforcing and teaching women that they're only valuable for their bodies, and that's that's unacceptable. I mean, yes, everybody wants, every every man wants to have a beautiful woman. But there are ideals and people people want somebody who's got good character and takes care of themselves and respects themselves and does not objectify themselves. Nobody wants somebody who's, A, showing themselves to everybody and every, anybody who pays them three, five, ten, whatever dollars a month it is to subscribe to their content. Nobody's going to want that. It's it's not desirable. It's a very undesirable quality, um, or history. Um, so yeah, I want to go into, go into greater depths on that in the future here. Um, a couple other, um, 
little teasers I have. Um, I'm going to be doing one on masculinity and how it's in vogue to hate on men for being masculine. And that's, that, that's just unacceptable. I mean, they, they, they throw out the term toxic masculinity all the time. You know, what the hell is that? What is toxic masculinity? I would say if there's toxic masculinity, there's toxic femininity. Ultimately, what it is is there's masculine and feminine, and there are toxic people of both in both uh, categories. So um, masculinity is not toxic. It's necessary. And uh, a couple others, um, racism, how it's also very popular nowadays to hate white people um, and how apparently so many of these people are convinced that that's not racist. Like judging people on their skin is not racist now, I guess. Um, if anybody else has noticed the resurgence of um, segregation uh, with all these safe spaces, um, these are all topics I, w- I would really want to get into. A lot of it's going to be free rolling. Um, I am going to be um, you know, researching all of these topics so I know what the hell I'm talking about a little bit more than just uh, hearsay um, and be able to reference some actual hard facts on things. Um, some of these topics I'm going to do a, a pro-con kind of, uh, I guess, solo argument. Um, I don't know how well that's going to go. <laughs> should be interesting. So I'm going to try to take a topic uh, that I may not, I may or may not agree with and have the point, the agreeing, uh, lay out some points of in favor of said topic. And then, sorry, my kitten is playing in a paper bag back there. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Um, but <laughs> um, so lay out some points in favor of a topic opposing the topic and then kind of coming to my own conclusion with it. Um, most of these I'll already have my own conclusion and I'll start off with that, but I'll, then I'll kind of lay into um, the pros and cons of it. Cause I think that's important to acknowledge that um, just because somebody believes something we don't doesn't make them automatically bad. Right. So it's okay to um, think differently. It's okay to have different opinions. Um, so I don't know where I'm going with that. Just kind of rambling. Anyway, um, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, for anybody who has seen my quotes videos, I will be continuing to do those um, at some point, probably maybe springtime. Um, I'm hoping to do one video a month, uh, a deep dive type video, and maybe one or two uh, quote videos a month. Um, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work for a one man, one man show, one man army, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm still trying to learn and figure out all the kinks on audio, video, um, editing, um, and just, you know, SEO. It, the, none of this stuff is easy. It all takes a lot of time. It's all very time consuming along with researching topics. So um, I'm trying. I would really, really appreciate it. If anybody wants to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comments, I would love any and all of that. Um I'm going to be mirroring my channel over on Rumble, um, and hopefully I don't get demonetized before I even get monetized. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm a long ways away from that. I think I only got like 34 subscribers. So uh, anyway, thanks for listening to my ramble, and look uh, look for videos coming up in the future. Take care, guys. Bye.